Good afternoon, Jordan. We're uh, downtown in beautiful Moreland Park here in Owensboro, Davis County. I want to talk a little bit about uh, heat emergencies, how we can avoid them, and what to do if we do have one. Uh, probably the most important thing I can tell folks is to hydrate. Water, 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 and then uh, hydrate with some uh, Gatorade or some Powerade. You want those sodiums and those potassiums, get those minerals back in the body. We want to avoid caffeine and anything with alcohol because that is a natural diuretic, meaning it draws water away from the body, sends you to the bathroom a lot more. Some symptoms you want to be uh, mindful of. Heat cramps, we've all seen the ball player on the field have that cramp in the, in the hot uh, part of the uh, practice. Uh, that can happen in young or old adults, either or. Heat exhaustion uh, comes after heat cramps. That would include heavy sweating, uh, confusion, nausea, vomiting. Want to avoid all those and heat stroke being the most serious will include all symptoms related to heat exhaustion with uh, inclusion of more symptoms. Uh, one of the most serious would be uh, your body is going to stop sweating, be dry, hot skin. What you can do if you experience any of those symptoms is get out of that heat, get into some shade, get into some air conditioning, some things uh, caregivers want to do, avoid doing. Uh, you don't want to immerse that person in cold water. You don't want to put ice packs all over them. Just cool, moist clothing. Uh, if they do have on a lot of clothing, start taking some clothing off. But your clothing is actually going to absorb that sweat and kind of cool you. You want to wear a, a wide brim hat. I bought both, bought, uh, both of my hats today. A hat is better than no hat, but a wide brim is going to keep that sun off of your face and your neck and your ears, uh, not only keeping you from getting sunburned, but keep that hot sun off of you. Bought my bottle of water with me today. Again, we talked about water and the uh, sports drink. Don't do all just one or the other. Uh, mix it up. Uh, typically, it's a two to one. Two water to one Gatorade is probably a good mix. And again, avoid those uh, drinks with caffeine and alcohol. Anything arises, you have one of those emergencies, don't hesitate to call 911. And last but not least, if you have neighbors that are elderly, please check on them. Uh, sometimes they are uh, in stages of decline, dementia, Alzheimer's, things such as that, and they don't realize they're as hot as they really are. Thanks and I hope you have a great day.